This video is going to show you what to do when you have a file with the extension .zip at the end. It is a compressed file, which has been compressed to save space. You might get it through mail or uh, some other means. Somebody has shared it with you or even you created it. Um, what you're going to need to do, like if it's in the mail, you do need to download it. And I do want to warn you, like right here in Gmail, um, it will not scan it, and so it's going to warn you. If it's from somebody you don't know, please don't open it and download it. Um, you know, make sure it's from a trustworthy source. You go ahead and you download it. I have already done that, and down here, when you're in Google Chrome browser, it will show you that it's downloaded. I'm going to click on the arrow on the right side of it and do Show in Folder. So it's going to go ahead and show me that this is the file I just downloaded. What I want to do right now, it's still selected. I'm going to right click and I'm going to do open with Zip Genius. Our computers, most of the teachers have Zip Genius 6. It's a free software download uh, for that will allow you to extract or uncompress or unzip files or open them up. Um, there's also like WinRAR. There's a lot of different tools to use for this. We're going to go ahead and use Zip Genius 6. And you're going to notice it's going to open up the Zip Genius 6. And this is the file that I had that I was looking at. Up here it says Extract, and there's a little arrow on the right side. This will be similar in a lot of these extraction programs. You're going to want to extract files. Now, if there's more than one, Go ahead and select that. If you want to do them individually, that's fine, but I'm, I would like to do all of them usually at once. And I am going to extract it to the desktop. That's usually an easy spot for most people to find. Um, you could put it in a custom folder as well. When I go ahead and click on desktop, it will extract that. It doesn't usually take very long. And then it's going to go ahead and it's going to open up, let's see here, like right now this is my download folder. I told it to go to the desktop and right now my view on my desktop, I need to switch that. I want to do the details and you'll notice right here is that first grade folder. One note, it does keep the original date that it was created. Um, I can go ahead and open it up now. It's extracted. And I can go ahead and look at it and use it. Well, hopefully this has helped you take two for tech and you know how to open up a zipped folder or file.